I am Dr. Richard Gerak. I hold degrees in biology, chemistry, and a doctorate in healing arts. I have participated in the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission's Fish Hatchery Advisory Panel and Hatchery Evaluation Teams on the Klamath River. The entire premise for removing dams is based on restoring salmon in these rivers in the Northwest. As a biologist, I can assure you, removing these dams will not save the salmon and will only destroy property values. This documentary is designed to show you the effects on people, businesses, property values, and the general economy, including recreation. Let it go, blossom as a flower, hold your face to the sun, love is where we All right, we're here at the Rogue River. Uh, in what town? Rogue River. In Rogue River. Introduce yourself. My name is Rich Harris. And uh, you live here on this beautiful river. Tell me what happened when they took the dam out. Uh, how far did it drop? It dropped about five and a half feet. And uh, people with jet boats or drift boats are about the only people that can use it. Mm-hmm. So what, how does taking the dam benefit it, this, this water? How has it benefited? To me, it hasn't benefited at all. They say it's easier for the fish to get up because they don't have to come through the ladder now. Uh, Do you like what happened? <laughs> well, far as far as I've been here my whole life. Okay. So, you know. So you've seen it with the dam. Oh yeah. And, For and two it years. was boatable. Oh yeah. Fishable. Yeah. It was wonderful. We could kayak. This was more recreational. Yeah, that's what it was. It, it was, was all wonderful. recreational. Far as their, in my opinion, far as their idea of, of uh, taking a dam out was bogus because I mean the San Mateo head has been in here for since 1929. Well, they had my, the fish ladders in place. Well, they had the fish ladders. They had my, like runs. Yeah. yeah. The thing was, my uncles, my parents, myself, my brothers, we all fished this area. Mm -hmm. Wow. And we never, ever had a problem as far as fish. Using the fish as an excuse was a joke because after they decided to pull that out, they had record runs up here. I know. And so they didn't fly up there. So the 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 drawback of taking the the dam out. Tell tell us what you see as the drawback here. Well, the drawback is that you don't see the the water skiers, you don't see the jet skiers. People enjoy that. You don't see families bringing their kids out here on a weekend going swimming. So the economy you know, is shot. Well, I think far as that aspect of it, it didn't do that any good. But they bring obviously. in a lot of, a lot of uh, money for the campsites. Oh, I would think so, sure. Absolutely. People out of state come up here, use the campsites, and water ski, and swim, and so that's now, now gone. that's all gone. It's all gone. So, we, at, in the summertime, we had a, what they called the lake effect. When they put the boards in the dam, that's no more there. And then they, this would fill up, the, this area here would fill up right to the edge of the, my river patio here. That's why I built it. And hmm. my family and friends would come over and we'd, you know, play in the river and, and have no worries. And then the dam went out and this is what we have now. This is what we have. We have, the, it'll always be the Rogue River. And it'll never be what it and, and, and when you say it used to be up here, yeah, it used to come right here. So that that's uh, twenty feet. I have no idea. That's a probably twenty feet of high. There's still a channel on our side that boats can go on, and and they're thinking of the jet boats will be able to go all the way down, wherever all the way down is. Mm -hmm. Well, we've been c coming down the river here, and it's pretty shallow down there. They don't, they don't think there's much of a much boat. Well, I, I, I think this is, you know, summertime. We're not going to get this kind of water. I mean, yeah. it's going to be shallower yet, and it's going to cost all of us 
money. I mean, my days of jumping and climbing are over. And it's going to cost all of us money to build something to be able to get down to the river. And this is too fast to just be swimming in. Oh, huh? you can't. You couldn't. I wouldn't trust any of my grandchildren in there. Oh, yeah. no. Um, my name is Jared Justice. I'm an employee at Mahoney's Tavern here, located near Savage Rapids Dam, the ex Savage Rapids Dam. Um, basically, uh, how taking out this dam is affecting business around here is they took a recreational state park and turned it into nothing. Um, you know, you can imagine a place like this, the only reason it's here was to, you know, uh, supply business to the people that were jet skiing, water skiing, uh, enjoying that park there, and now it's gone, so we have no business from that at all. Um, hmm. So it's pretty much so destroyed you say, the business here. Would you say that the skiers bring in like 50% of the income here or more? Um, he recently opened here also since the dam has been out. Hmm. This bar was actually shut down for five years. Um, before we opened it, so I don't know um, exactly how. I can just hear people tell me how busy it used to be mm. back when the dam was there, which was full all the time. Oh my gosh. So, and now? And now, um, we and do Now right. it's pretty empty. Yeah. Um, I mean, we do live music and stuff on the weekends. Mm -hmm. That draws a crowd, but other than that, I mean, the, the average day here is pretty slow. Mm. So. So it has affected you? Um, well, it's, uh, it's going to be a tough day. summer. We'll see. I mean, we have to wait till the summer comes yeah. up to actually see. On the weekends, are they pretty much busy? Yeah, like I said, we have motorcycles and stuff. Right. But like Monday through Friday. But no skiers good. and no jet boats? No rafters. I mean, that's the thing. They're supposed to fix the park down here and restore it to a, a park and a boat ramp and stuff. Um, hopefully rafters will come through and tubers and things like that. They can pull out and come over here. That was kind of the whole idea of this place and this location. Um, so we'll see we'll how see. it affects. Well, in, we two, wait in two months we'll come back and see how it affects you. Yeah. All right? Yeah. Nancy Bradley. And um, how long have you lived here? 71 years. 71 years. You don't, well, look, you don't look a day over 60, girl. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so since they took out the dam, what have you noticed different besides the water level down? Um, well, the inability to have a variety of rec recreational abilities. Um, I learned to swim and water ski here as with my children and my grandchildren. Um, you can't fish because it's too fast unless you're in a boat. Um, it's just, it's not as pretty. The aesthetics for a buyer, if I wanted to sell my house, wouldn't be as good. Right. This is the Klamath River, approximately 10 miles down from the Iron Gate Dam. Just to show you the quality of the water right at the bank. That water is clean enough to drink. Again, thank you. After having viewed this particular documentary, if you feel that the dams should not be removed, I would hope that you will write your legislators and inform them that this is not to be done. Do not destroy the environment. Do not destroy hydroelectric dams. Thank you for watching.